Hello and welcome to our video blog. I'm Dan Robbins and I'm going to answer today some of the most common questions we get asked as the difference between water and foam fire extinguishers. For example, why would I have a foam fire extinguisher instead of a water? What are the advantages of a foam fire extinguisher? Or why can't I have a water fire extinguisher in this situation? So I'm going to talk through a couple of the differences between the two extinguishers, some of the pros and cons between them. So starting off with a water fire extinguisher. Water fire extinguishers are still some of the most common fire extinguishers we sell. We sell thousands of these water extinguishers and for some very good reasons. Firstly, they're relatively inexpensive. They've only got water inside them, which is a very cheap commodity. And so the cost is kept as low as possible. So that's a great thing. And secondly, because they only have water inside them, there's no ecological downsides to them entering the environment. So uh, unlike a foam extinguisher, which you have to take care that it doesn't really enter water courses and that kind of thing, water, you don't need to worry about that. That can go down the drain. You're not worried about it. It's only water. And thirdly, although very old fashioned in that sense, water is still remains a very effective way of putting out fires. The fire brigade use gallons of it every single day in fighting fires. It's no different in a fire extinguisher. It's still very effective at fighting fires. So why foam, you ask? Well, one of the most common reasons for specifying a foam extinguisher as opposed to a water is on the front here. As you can see, a foam fire extinguisher offers a class B fire rating as well as a class A. So that's one of the limitations of a water fire extinguisher. It can only be used on class A fires, and that's things like wood, paper, and textiles, that kind of thing. A foam fire extinguisher can be used on all of those, plus it can be used on flammable liquid fires. So look around your premises and think, have I got any flammable liquids? And that may be petrol or diesel, the obvious things like that, but also it may be cans of paint that you've got stored in your cupboard there for those touching up jobs. Or it could be a pot of grease out in your warehouse for the machinery that you run. It could be some lubricating oils, even some cleaning chemicals these days are flammable. Hand gels, that kind of thing, they're all class B fire risks. So check in your premises and find out if you've got any class B fires. Don't forget that using a water extinguisher on a class B B fire can have potentially catastrophic consequences. It makes it much, much worse. So if you do have any class B materials around your premises, always consider using a, or specifying a foam extinguisher as opposed to a water fire extinguisher. So another advantage of a foam fire extinguisher as opposed to a water is the speed at which it knocks a fire down. You've all seen the way that water tends to bead on surfaces. If it hits a, a waxy surface, it will form small beads across the surface of the material. And it does that when it hits burning material, burning class A material. Whereas the foam solution in a foam extinguisher acts as what we call a wetting agent. And that literally means it doesn't form those little droplets. It spreads out across the surface and massively increases the surface area of the liquid that's hitting the fire. And therefore the initial knockdown is huge compared with the water. The out and out performance of the extinguishers is not too different, but the foam does knock it down an awful lot faster, making it a lot more uh, capable, not safer, particularly in untrained hands. You can compromise with water, as in the example that we got here, which is a water with additive, a water plus model, uh, and that has an additive in there which is a wetting agent additive, which um, essentially has the same effect as a foam extinguisher on class A fires, but obviously it still can't be used on class B fires. One of the main reasons for specifying foam extinguishers as opposed to water fire extinguishers is actually risk-based. So by having foam extinguishers in your premises as opposed to water, you are reducing the risk of incorrect selection of fire extinguisher, so it doesn't matter what's on fire, the foam extinguisher gives a greater chance of putting it out than a water does. And given the potentially catastrophic consequences of using a water on a class B fire, we tend to find that people mitigate that by specifying foams for the small amount of extra cost. It does, it does give that extra peace of mind. And also, because of its greater knockdown, especially in untrained hands, it does fight that fire more effectively. So in short, whilst water extinguishers remain a great choice and they're really popular, 
and they have many applications out there, do consider in your premises if you've got a Class B fire risk or if you do want that greater level of ability at knocking down fires, do consider a foam fire extinguisher. It's a more complete, more all-round fire extinguisher that offers slightly greater peace of mind. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon with more updates.